Hello and welcome once again to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. In this video we are going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Deluxe uh, Thor Ragnarok figure. Now straight away what I'm going to say is it's been pointed out in lots of reviews that we've got um, a couple less hands than we saw in the promo picks when we pre-ordered this. But nonetheless this is still a great figure. Now before I go into the detail of who Thor Ragnarok is, let's have a look at the alternate head. So he comes with two heads, one that's on the figure there and one that I just showed you, both of which have like red eyes, that obviously because he's a cyborg. He comes with an alternate hand to replace the cybernetic hand or the cyborg hand that's on the figure. He also comes with a Mjolnir and it's got the, uh, the Thor inscription in it as well. And he comes with a really cool spinning Mjolnir um, effect piece. Now we have seen this in the uh, Diamond Select but it's a much bigger piece and it's very sought after because it does create a really cool effect for photography and for displays and this one is a step above with the translucent kind of blue there so it's a really nice little accessory. But that is everything that you get in the box there that you can see on screen. And I must admit even though it is missing a hand from those original pictures it's still a really cool set. Now let's have a quick look at this cyborg head it's got a real kind of Terminator vibe where half of the face is missing and you can see the, the cyborg skull underneath and he's got these really nice kind of wings coming off his helmet which are different to the 80th anniversary 4. Now let's just change the hand over and just be aware that the wrist cuff things do come off so when you are changing the hand just be careful you don't put it too hard because you don't want to lose one of those. Um, I'm just going to put the standard head on because as I said he is pretty much a replica of the 80th anniversary Thor. So if I just stand him up here, I'm going to grab that one and have a side-by-side -side comparison. Now there are a few subtle differences, but if you haven't got the 80th anniversary Thor, then this would make a good substitute if you can do a little bit of paint on those eyes to take away the, uh, the red out of the eyes. These are the only two pieces that actually turn him into the cyborg. So if you don't have a classic Thor, if you don't have that 80th anniversary Thor, then this is definitely a good substitute. Let me just show you how this effect piece looks. Simply just goes in his hand and you can see there that it looks like he's spinning his hammer. It's really cool. I'm glad that they finally gave us this effect piece. As I said, they did do it in the uh, Diamond Select, but it was a little bit larger than the Marvel Legends figures, so it did look a little bit out of place. So I'm glad that they've finally given us that in Marvel Legends scale. So Ragnarok appeared in the comics in 2006 as part of the Civil War um, storyline. And basically Thor went missing, much like he did in the MCU, um, but everybody kind of assumed that he was dead. And it was actually Tony Stark and Hank Pym and Reed Richards that made a cybernetic copy of Thor using a strand of his hair that Tony Stark had stored away. This is the 80th anniversary one here, I'll just put it there so you can just have a look at the differences. Um, so yeah, so he was basically a cybernetic a cyborg uh, copy of Thor um, and he worked in the, the Civil War, uh, War storyline um, and then he kind of malfunctioned and started sort of killing heroes off and that so they eventually killed him um, and the way that they killed him is by um, throwing sort of Mjolnir into his skull and, and destroying him and that was that was thought to be the end of Ragnarok but he did return later on in the um, in the uh, Dark Reign uh, storyline and also the Secret, Inv Secret Invasion storyline and he was part of the Dark Avengers but I don't want to give too much away about what happened with the character moving forward um, but he's he's cool he's he's a staple part of the comic books in certain storylines um, and I'm really pleased to be able to add him onto the shelf. And I'm really happy that they used the 80th anniversary as the body type because then he really does look like the Thor that I've got in my collection. Um, so there aren't that many differences. Now the hair is a slightly different colour. The belt is a slightly different colour. The kind of yellowy orange tan colour on the boots are slightly different. Um, and I think the biggest difference, the one that's most obvious, is the uh, the wings on the helmet. On the 80th anniversary Thor, they are silver to match the helmet, and on the Ragnarok, they are um, like a, a kind of an off-white, like a, an ivory colour. And I actually prefer the ivory ones. I think they look really cool. Uh, and the capes as well, they're slightly different. But as you can see here, they are very similar indeed. Uh, now, I've obviously put the cyborg parts back onto Ragnarok because that's how I'm going to display them, because I don't need a sort of a second Thor in my collection, and the, the red eyes on the on the undamaged head aren't enough to stand out in my collection so I want to display him as the the Ragnarok as 
the, the cyborg version of Thor. Um, but yeah, he's really cool. I'm really happy with him. Um, as I said, if you haven't got an 80th anniversary Thor, then this one would do. You'll just have to do a little bit of work on the eyes. Um, but yeah, overall, he's a really cool figure. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. And I'll see you soon.